In this section, we're going to talk about the bootstrap, which is similar in some ways to cross-validation, but a more general procedure. And we're going to show how to use a bootstrap to, to measure the variance of a complicated statistic. OK, yes. So the example we're going to follow is, is covered in the, in the text that uh, it's, a, it's an investment problem where we're trying to decide the optimal investment um, into two assets that minimizes the variance. So that's obviously some function of the variance and covariance of the, uh, so of the, so of the asset. So we're going to have a statistic that is. Uh, look back at, uh, we won't do it now, but look back in the book at equation 5.7, and you'll see there's this formula, which is a ratio of some variance term to some covariance terms. And in general, finding the variance of such a, a function will be, you know, we don't have any nice closed form expressions. And no. that's an ideal job for the bootstrap. Yes. Or you know, it used to be for graduate students, but now it's better, <laughs> for the, <laughs> better, better for the bootstrap to do it. OK, so, uh, so as Trevor mentioned, we're gonna, it, we have to compute the covariances of different assets. Um, so here's a little function. We're, we're going to give the bootstrap uh, a, uh, a data frame. Um, and from this data frame, uh, it will compute the covariance of x and y. And this formula here. Uh, is that formula 5.7 um, in code form, let's say. Um, OK, so in the way the bootstrap will work is, of course, we give random uh, samples with replacement from the data frame. So this index argument is going to be you know, a list of different integers uh, to sample or different indexes elements of the data frame. And for every different index, we'll compute the statistic. And the bootstrap collects these, and we can use the, the sample standard deviation of those um, estimates as an estimate of the variance of the, right. the, the, estimate, the original estimator. That's right. the, the so idea. So you'll recall from reading the, the, the book and the section on bootstrap that we do this over and over again. We sample the rows of the, of the data frame with replacement of size n, the total sample size, many, many times. And each time, we compute the statistic on this resampled uh, data frame. And and from that we get the the sample the, the variance of the statistic yes. the bootstrap variance. So let's just let's just check what you know when we compute the statistic on the full data, it's uh, our, po our point estimate is point point five eight or so, and we'd like to know how variable that is, of course. Okay, so what we you know for a given sample with replacement from the rows of the data matrix, we'll get a new value of that statistic. 0.61 in this case. Of course, every time we change the sample of rows, we'll get a different estimate. And the, the standard error of those estimates is the bootstrap standard error. So let's write a little function. Um, here we've written a little function to do that, that for us. There are some packages in Python for the bootstrap. But our examples are simple enough here that uh, we use that as an example to, 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 to write a function to, to do it ourselves. OK, so this boot se function, it will take an estimator like that alpha Funk estimator, I think is what it's called. Um, it'll take a data set, and we'll apply the estimator to the data set and different indices, collect all of these, and then compute the standard error. So we, if we go through this code, you can see that's what's going on here. Um, let's, not dwell, let's not go on, e go through each line of these. Again, you'll notice we've stored the seed, so our results are reproducible. but OK, let's just run this on our example. So we give uh, the boot SE our point estimator, the actual and the data set. And we ask for 1,000 samples. And it tells us the standard error, the bootstrap standard error, is about 0.09. So if we wanted a, a confidence interval for the, uh, the true optimal alpha, it would be 0.58 plus or minus twice. 0.09 would be a pretty good confidence interval. And that was really quick. Did a 1,000. Mind you, it's a yeah. very simple function. Right? Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. So um, the rest of the lab here, we have an example of how to do bootstrap for linear regression. It follows a similar formula to above. Um, but the difference is that this function here is just a little more complicated. It's a function that fits a regression model to a data frame and a set of indices. But other than that, it will follow this exact same. We'll use this boot SC to compute the standard error. And we'll leave you that to do offline. Yeah.
and the bootstrap's really useful. Um, it, 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 the idea is that it's, it's a straightforward method to, to use, but it can work on fairly complicated functions, and you can get the standard error of these functions. Yes, I like to call it auto-magical. Auto-magical. Yeah, instead of, or automatic yeah. instead of automatic, because it's just magical. Yeah. And as you know, the bootstrap was invented by uh, Professor Brad Efron, who's a professor in our department. He's now emeritus, but uh, he invented the bootstrap.